Hi everyone, we're the Engineering Chicks. I'm Ashley and I'm here with Emily. And today we're talking about a single server um, queue problem. So um, A sub I is the inter-arrival time between customers. Um, S sub I is the service time of customer I. And then W sub I is the waiting time in the queue or the time between arrival and start of service for that customer. So this first question is to show that the wait time is the max of this function right here. So basically what this is saying is if the service rate is faster than the arrival rate, um, the wait time formula will give you a negative value, which just means that the wait time is zero. So the customer got served faster than the next customer came in. Um, and so if the customer come, the next customer comes in before the first one is finished getting served, um, this number right here will be positive and then that will be this function takes the max value, so it'll be take that max um, positive value, and that is the wait time. So uh, the next part of the problem was to kind of just come up with a procedure for uh, just testing and simulating this queue. And as you can see, this is the procedure that we've come up with, and it actually had some of the numbers in it that belong to the next part because we use this procedure obviously to calculate the actual values. And so going into um, part C of the problem, we're <laughs> supposed to experiment with different values for the traffic intensity. So that's like lambda over mu. And for all of our um, simulations, mu is just 1. And so that's really just changing the lambda value, so changing the arrival rate. And so we picked 8.5 for low traffic, and I'll go ahead and run that for you. And as you can see, um, here is the um, plot that comes up with for the 1,000 different trials, and you can see that it is in a, um, in a steady state, as, and it achieves stationary behavior, and we found that for this 0.5 that the average wait time would be around 0.6654. Um, of course, this is based off of random numbers, so if we ran it again, we'd probably get something a little different. But um, that's what we got for the 0.5 with the low traffic arrival rate. And then changing the lambda value for a high traffic arrival rate, which we um, decided would be 0 0.99. I'll go ahead and run that. You can see that this plot, it really doesn't uh, achieve a stationary behavior. And so you need to kind of increase the number of iterations to get more simulation, so more customers arriving. So we'll just go ahead and increase it to from 1,000 to 10,000 and when we do that you can see that it achieves more of a steady state and so the average wait time that we got with a high traffic lambda was point um, excuse me that was 68 around 68 minutes so then we need to find a value that stationary uh, behavior wasn't achievable and so basically that would just be when lambda is greater than mu, so when your um, arrival rate is greater than your service time. And so with that, we just did 1.2 because that really shows it. And so as you can see, this line right here, I did run this for the 10,000 iterations, and if I change it and run it for just the 1,000, it still gives you basically the same plot. And so we'll run it. And as you can see, no um, stationary behavior is achieved. And so obviously that makes sense because your service rate is um, lower than your arrival rate. So thanks for watching.